Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is Khan's Vlogs. We're back with another video, you guys. Today's video, it is super cold and it is it's pretty early. I just woke up. Um, but anyways, what we're gonna be doing today, if you saw my last Instagram post, you saw we are going to be driving the SS this winter uh, because I don't really care. We're gonna drive it in the snow. Doing snow donuts is like a staple. You have to do it at least once. At least once a year, I feel like you have to drive your rear wheel drive car in the snow. We're gonna drive this car during the winter. And to do that, we need to do a few things. So we're gonna go and take care of those. And I'm gonna kinda of take you guys along, show you what we're doing, why we're doing it um, in prep for winter. Because surprisingly enough, there's not a lot of snow here in Utah yet. Um, and it's almost December, but it's supposed to snow in a few days. So I need to put some new tires on the car. And then I gotta take care of a few other things too, just to make sure we're good to go for the winter. If you saw my last video, we put an ice tank in here. Premier Performance put a Synergy Motorsports 5th gen ice tank in the back of the SS to help keep my IAT super low. So that is super nice. If you missed that video, I'll link it down below. Go check it out and go subscribe, share it, tell your friends. This car's an absolute monster right now, okay? The Chevy SS is an absolute monster and I am loving it for the time being. So right now we're gonna head home, we're gonna grab the winter set of wheels and tires um, and then we are gonna take it up to Les Schwab. So here we are right here. Here's the tires, Continental Extreme Contact, all season tire. They're great, They're a great all season for winter set. We've got them on the stock wheels. We're gonna load these up in the Duramax and we're gonna take them up to Les Schwab. Well, we're in the Duramax. I look down and see how much gas I have. Huh, I don't know what that means. All right, now we got the tires up there. We need to bring the actual car up there now. You know, I miss this car, I do. You guys remember Mitchell used to have that Miata. This guy just put headers on it. That's kind of nice. You got boost though, so. The SS is done, here it is. It's looking really naked right now. I it, I don't like it, I don't. I wish I could keep the four stars on. But it's okay, because now we can drive it in colder weather and crazy enough, it was snowing today. Still sounds phenomenal. Let's uh, take it back to the garage and then we will uh, talk about some of the other items of business we did to it uh, to get it ready for winter. You guys might have just noticed one of the things that I did. But first off, the wheels. I don't like how it makes the car look stock and naked. Uh, but it's okay, those tires really ride great. The ride quality um, on those extreme contacts it's nice. Those are really good tires. Um, stock wheels, they look all right. They're not my favorite though, uh, but they'll do. Obviously for winter, I'd rather run these than run the Ford Stars and get salt on them and get a damn and whatnot. Now the other thing to always do, whenever it's winter time or, or gonna get dirty outside, you have gotta put WeatherTech floor mats in your vehicle. It doesn't matter what vehicle. Carpet and snow and mud from the winter months do not blend well. Now, the other thing we did, and a lot of you picked up on the little short I posted of the ice box, the other thing we have to do for the winter months. Here in Utah, it gets below freezing temperatures, which means water will freeze, obviously. So you do not want to have too much water in your coolant lines. It'll, the reservoirs, the lines, the brick itself, and it can cause some damage. So, in order to prevent that from happening, we had to make sure that we just had coolant in the lines. Coolant will not freeze, obviously. Um, so yeah, that, that's another one that we had to do. Um, this makes it really easy. So there's actually a drain scroll underneath here. So you can just unscrew it, you know, pull out all the fluid there, and then you just replace a lot of it with coolant. Shouldn't freeze over, should be good to go there. Um, but that's a trick for, for everybody. Anybody? So now, two more things to go over here. I'm sure you guys have noticed one of them. The car's a little bit quieter. I put the stock mufflers back on. And there's a good reason for that. There's a good reason for that. We're gonna hop in the car. Um, I'll show you guys. It's still extremely loud. The stock 16 SS mufflers are stupid loud. Um, so we're gonna show you guys that. But there's a good reason for me making it quieter. Um, My car does not like being cold, as I'm sure a lot of you guys' cars don't. It doesn't run good when it's cold. You have to really baby it. Sometimes it stalls out when it's super cold. 
Um, and so I have to let it idle for a good amount of time. As it's idling in the garage with those solos, it literally shakes stuff on my walls in my house. So I put the stock mufflers back on. I unplugged the valves though, so they're still wide open all the time. So it's still really loud even in tour mode. Um, but it's just a lot quieter at idle. Um, so there you go. That's why I put them back on. And it sounds really good too. I do like the tone. There's less drone on the inside of the cabin. Not that the solos are bad, but uh, they're still obviously a lot quieter inside the cabin which is nice too valves are open all the time so it's still really loud and honestly i love the angry tone that you get with these stock mufflers i mean it really it refines it a little bit more than the solos because the solos is just noise i mean it's a lot of noise and i absolutely love it don't get me wrong <laughs> And then obviously just cruising, it still sounds really good, sounds really, uh, really beefy as a muscle car should. Um, but then like all the windows are up. It's still loud, dude. And it's a little squirrely Dan in the rear still. Yeah, so the stock mufflers still sound really great. Um, we've got one more item to cover what we did uh, to kind of prepare this thing for winter. But while we pull in the garage here on a side note, the black wing is right there. That thing is also prepped and ready for winter. Uh, we're gonna be going over that in a separate video. Um, yeah, I think my dad plans to drive that in the snow this year. I don't, I don't think it's gonna stop him. So, um, that's coming soon. And the last thing that I'm gonna cover today that we did, there is no splitter on the sink, okay? If you guys remember, I destroyed my last splitter. Um, I had, the, I had the mobile attractions. I think it was the V2.5 splitter. I wrecked it, okay? I completely <laughs> shredded it up. It was pretty bad. So we took that off. I actually have a Maverick Man polyurethane splitter. Drives in the winter. It's probably gonna take some ice to the face. I don't wanna wreck a splitter with that. So we're gonna get the front PPF. It's an I actually ended up having to have the bumper repainted when I did wreck the splitter. It was that bad. So I'm gonna get the front end PPF'd again. Um, but yeah, no splitter, so. She's good. I'm not gonna break a splitter this winter.